uh, Kipling had 76%. So therefore, because of this, now she is in the lead. It's very good for the spectators here in Holland. I think I like it very much. And I said I was not sure. From my point of view, my feeling, I was now looking more from the, yeah, the judges who were sitting together and giving marks for the paces. I had the feeling a little bit lower, but I can live with this result very good. And they are very close together. But it's a little bit more than one uh, percentage point yes, but it's, now it's very close very but tight. very very close but now we see the last horse to go a rider from Spain and a horse from Denmark and this will be now very very exciting they are the defending world champions they have 88.389 to their name in the qualifying round which is uh, a huge difference to the rest of the uh, competition field and uh, we have to uh, expect maybe a third world title for Fiontini, the uh, seven-year-old daughter of Fassbinder Arvodan by Romanov and then Solo Skyrex ridden by Severo Jurado Lopez. Again, he is a very, very experienced rider. He was very, very good at the Olympics in Rio and therefore he has a lot of experience as a Grand Prix rider. He is um, from Andreas Hegstan's stable. He is riding the whole day and has a lot of experience to compete, to train. And he has his horse a long time under the saddle, winning five and six years. Uh, oh, oh, and starts with a mistake. Not a very good beginning because no. he, he was... Uh, his halt was through uh, one or two uh, walk strides and yeah. and there was this uh, small hesitation absolutely going away from the halt yeah so he has to maintain yeah. his nerve yeah but if it's a, the only mistake he can still win but if it's one of many mistakes then he has no chance to win but it's a wonderful elasticity look to the body look to the swinging swinging and to be honest last year i was judging uh, the the mare, when she was six years old, I judged the qualification a little bit tilted now in the shoulder in. And I think last year he always tries to ride the horse a little bit too much passage. I think the concept this year is better. It's a true collected trotter, not a small passage. A little bit more open the throat ledge. Yeah. That's important. Small uh, items with the small yeah. things in the contact. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this is good. Nech? He is able to give it, could be maybe 10 centimeter longer, but he did it. Nech? When we were saying Andreas, his boss didn't do it with his lovely chestnut horse, he did it. So now, open the throat latch in the German language, we would say Rahmenerweiterung. Yeah, lovely picture. Wow. And, and lost ah. the frame. Yeah, lost the frame, but there was. Um, one time uh, a mistake, a uh, rhythm mistake, ne? was a little bit maybe overridden. And but this is the lower mark for uh, the technical part. Ne? But the mare is showing so much in yeah, that yeah. extended trot. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. And then it's also more difficult to maintain okay. balance. Okay, yeah, yeah. But that's the risk. Ne? That's right. In and sport, and you need to take risks. And he has to use it. He has to do the risk. No chance. Yeah. Okay. Very smooth. Okay. Always a little bit short in the neck. So give her a good stretching. Give stretching. Yeah. Good. Stretch the neck. Good walk. Good over tracking. Good covering ground. Yeah. Wow, when you have a trot as she has and then a walk like this, wow. This could be a 10 yeah. or a 9.5. Yeah, a high mark after this trot movement. And he is able to collect the walk. Right? Ah, nearly a complete horse. Good, good. Wow, what a pirouetted walk. He has a very, very good feeling, a very sensitive feeling. Uh, okay. So far, small, two small mistakes in the beginning on the center line and then after the center line in the extended trot. 
but with a horse which is indeed so complete as you as you yeah. uh, just mentioned a horse with three fantastic basic Absolutely. gates with a great mind yeah and a great rider so yeah. he's still on his way to maybe a third world title yeah i agree oh we'll see how much risk he now will do yeah good wow super and everything is through the body and the, and the contact is better now yeah yeah through the body uh, so now the difficult part pirouette left good 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 good, good. Yeah, well, well done one of the top pirouettes of the day and absolutely straight after the pirouette that was really cantering yeah, in the pirouette. Into the pirouette and out of the pirouette. 100% I agree, William. Uh, 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 good, good. And he's able to maintain the three beat rhythm. Yeah, she's able to collect. Very good. And so far, very, very obedient. Very good. I can tell an absolutely supple one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah. Not absolutely straight, but nearly straight. And uphill and through the body, looks good. So now, although he is gi more giving the rain, yeah, okay. But easy, so. She was a little bit behind one, the first. One, two, three, one, two, three. So there was one mistake, nicht not uh, the second flying change was not from behind through the body. Unbelievable. Although he had two smaller mistakes, but what a true mistake. Flying changes every third stride. That was a true mistake. So 83.515 yeah, is yeah. the leading score. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but will this be the third world title? Yeah. Also I think it's absolutely possible. My feeling is yes. But I'm not absolutely sure. If he wouldn't have had the mistake in the last flight <laughs> changes, I would be sure that he is it. But no, I'm not 100% sure. But how exciting dressage can be. Unbelievable. We have not Grand Prix. We have seven-year-old horses and such an exciting sport. Wow. Exactly one year ago, it was a Danish horse that took the third world title in a row the first time yeah. this would happen and maybe we yeah. have a second occasion here okay okay well. <laughs> so. unbelievable the spectators here the danish they hope they cross fingers the spanish because he's a spanish rider so yes we have flags we, from we will countries. see who will cry the the dutch people or the Danish and the, the Spanish. Now, in, in half a minute, we know it. It's up to Sharon Road. That's it. But she's only for 50%. And then we have to listen but to see the marks of uh, Dr. Dietrich Pleva and Sandy Phillips. Okay. 83.515 for Sultan de Palu, written by Kirsten Brouwer. In the first round, the qualifying round, it was 88.389 for Fiontini, written by uh, Severo Curado Lopez. But I know the situation. They are discussing because they are, they have exactly the same feeling. We don't know what happens, uh, who is better. As a, I'm sure this is the most difficult situations now for the judges. Others it's better to be a spectator or to give comments. That's much easier. So now it starts. We. <laughs> So really good medium trot, lovely ground cover, elasticity, cadence. We would have liked to see the rider allow more stretching <coughs> in the trot. We saw a slight loss of rhythm today in the extended, but there was really good collection. We were a little unhappy that at times the trot bordered on the passage. So I think that the rider needs to take care. We still, because of the good quality of the pace, gave a 
The walk today was a real highlight. So clear in the rhythm, clear forebeat, good ground cover, shoulder freedom. The pirouettes were a great highlight. Real ability to collect in the walk, a 9.5. The canter, active, clear jump, really good pirouettes, very well prepared, showing ability to collect, really lovely. Um, so we were happy with that. There was a mistake in the one change and a 9.2. Submission today was the lowest of our marks. There was some tilting in the lateral work, and at times we felt that the contact was a little bit short. Still, the horse is clearly very obedient and very well trained. A 9.2. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, that was the canter. I do apologize, sorry. The lateral. <laughs> <laughs> the lateral workshop frame, 8.6. My apologies. <laughs> Still a wonderful horse with great potential for the future with a few small issues today, a 9.1. Well done. And that brings the third world title to Fiontini, Fassbinder's daughter, but, ridden but, by but, Severo Jurado Lopez. Severo, a final result of 85.6.656. And uh, silver goes to Sultan de Palu, the uh, son of uh, Solimon, ridden by Kirsten Brouwer. And bronze medal for Kipling the Turkana, son of Hofrat, ridden by Anne Trainsgaard from Denmark. A fair decision of the uh, judges to uh, elect this podium, Christoph? <laughs> And I think I can give, can, I can live very good with this result uh, because I think at the end of the day the best horse is in the lead. The best horse had two, three small mistakes, one little bit more difficult mistake. But at the end of the day, I think the judges did a good job, a clear decision, because both judges, the judges who were judging, um, like judges are judging five and six-year-old classes, and the judges who had judged the technical part, both had uh, this wonderful horse in the lead. So therefore, I think it's absolutely fine. And we have with um, uh, Kirsten Brower a very good uh, second horse and rider combination. And then with the Trakena, uh, Kipling, I think absolutely a good result, but you see how close they are together. And we have at least three other horse and rider combinations who could easily come uh, to the podium as well. Although I think that was, from my point of view, a very, very high standard here in the seven-year-old class. And what I was judging the five and six-year-old six today and tomorrow the final of the five-year-old horses, I had seen with one eye some horses in the practice and arena. It's a very, very high standard which we have here with the young horses in Amelo. And thanks God that we have this uh, uh, championships. Thank you, Christoph Hess, for your co-commentary. We have a gold medal for Fiontini and uh, Severo Jurado Lopez from Spain. A silver medal for Sultan de Palu and uh, Kirsten Brouwer. And bronze for Kipling, written by Anne Trensgaard. We bring it all to you live. Looking at uh, Clip My Horse, you can stay up to date. We will be broadcasting up until uh, tomorrow night.